Sean Sewell with InGearmit.com. Got the brand new Packet Cloud fleece jacket right here. Just came out this month, week or two ago, and I've had it for the last few weeks, been using it, absolutely love it. It is alpaca and merino wool based fleece that is warmer, lighter weight, and more comfortable than any other fleece I've used, than you've probably used. So let's find out what makes it so special and the fit and the function and sizing. Let's get into it. We'll start things off with sizing as we always do. I am six foot one, 215 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. This is a men's extra large. It is a very good fit. It hits right where it needs to in the shoulders. You can see right here uh, it is a more kind of generous fit throughout the body, but it does have pockets. So this is not necessarily just like a mid layer. This could be an outer layer. It's something to keep in mind though, if you're using it just by itself and it is windy, you will feel the wind just like with any other kind of fleece we've ever used, unless it has something like a Gore-Tex Infinium membrane or other synthetic material membrane in there, it will not block wind if it's a fleece. Something to consider if you're going out on a really cold, windy day. On a cold day, not a problem. Windy, you will feel the wind. But if you're using this under a shell, this is fantastic at being warm for being so lightweight. On the sides, you get adjustable hems, nice sizable adjustable hems too. These are full on buttons with elastic kind of paracord to adjust it, very easy to adjust. So I could dial this in even tighter. The length is good. As you can see, it's covering over my hips really well. So totally outdoor recreation, functional, um, sporting event outside, outside concert, fall, winter, spring use, maybe even the summer, depending on where you are. On our mountains up here in Colorado, it does get pretty chilly even in the summer. It still gets down to around freezing. So it's been a nice camp uh, piece. What is it made of? <clears throat> Paca, as you can see, uh, uses alpaca wool. Alpaca wool is hollow core, so it's really efficient at being warm, but lightweight. Um, alpaca regenerative source, meaning you can give the alpaca haircut, get the material to make the clothing. Um, we have their socks, we have their jacket, it's my new favorite jacket, um, shirts, and now we have this, the, the Paca Cloud fleece. Um, so, Fleece. Fleece has been around for a long time. Usually fleece is a bunch of synthetic polyester, maybe nylon, um, kind of spun together to make this solid core um, fiber that is, is pretty warm. And it's warm when it's wet, which is why it's so useful for a lot of people. And it can be pretty cheap to make too, right? But it's all synthetic, all synthetic. This is about half alpaca and then another 15, 20% merino wool, which I, I have a lot of experience with merino wool. Got a wool shirt on. I'm wearing <laughs> my favorite wool slippers right now. So I, I like wool. Obviously merino wool is fantastic. Alpaca wool is even more efficient and softer, lighter weight. So that's a big, big, big plus. Um, there is a little bit of polyester and nylon in here, I suppose just to make it what it is. Um, but the majority of the material is regenerative wool from alpaca and from merino. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Far as comfort, I, I think I stated at the very beginning of the video, wasn't trying to tease you or lure you into this video with that statement, but it is very, very soft. It is the softest fleece I've ever tested. And if you have followed this channel, we have uh, 1800 video reviews on gear and probably, I don't even know, 50 of them were on fleeces. So plenty of experience with fleece. And there's, there's great fleeces out there. If you know, you're know you okay with it being synthetic and you want it to be windproof potentially. Um, and, and you know, depending on your case uh, and what you're using it for. So not bagging on fleeces in general, but just nice to see something with a more sustainable, regenerative um, material as a base. And <clears throat> also it being very, very comfortable. Uh, 18 to 19 micron. So if you know, a micron uh, is a, a filament of hair. And so it's, that's this very, very uh, skinny <laughs> amount of fibers. So the lower the number, the, the softer, generally speaking, things are. So oftentimes the shirts and the base layers and such we test are the 18.5 to 19 micron range. So this fits right up there with it. So the fleece feels really good against the skin. Um, 
I've actually kind of been living in it. I had the flu last week. Yeah, getting sick during Christmas and your birthday is not fun. Um, but I cozied up with my dog, my wife, who was also sick, watched a bunch of Lord of the Rings. I hung out in the Packa Cloud fleece and the Packa uh, joggers they sent over. We have a review on last month. So pretty much I lived in alpaca for a week. Um, and here's the cool thing about wools in general. They don't take on stink. Um, it's just like this magic property of wools in general. So uh, even though I smelt bad <laughs> and uh, and was sick, you know, there's a smell of what you get when you're sick. Um, it doesn't stink. Uh, to take care of it, uh, do not stick it in, in the clothes washer. Hand wash it like you would, you know, treat it like a delicate object um, when you're washing it. Let's let, you know, it's not like it's hard to do. I do this every every few days in our sink, in the kitchen sink. I just, whatever wool stuff I want to wash, I just put it in there with some non-detergent cleaner. I specifically use a Canadian company called Sport Suds. It's like an enzymatic, non-scented cleaner and it just goes in and eats up the bacteria. And, you know, that's usually the source of the smell. So um, it cleans up things nicely, leaves no residue, and then I just rinse it off and then I hang dry it or lay it flat. Easy, super, super easy. Doesn't require a whole lot of gallons of water and chemicals to, to clean wool. And it lasts a very long time. So um, hopefully seeing the sizing features, and of course it does have elastic cuffs, always like that, especially when I'm washing other things in the sink. As you can tell, I do a lot of hand washing. Uh, so it's nice to be able to pull up the sleeves. The comfort, off the charts. The, the style is awesome. You can see the hand pockets where they are right here. That line right here is the shape of the pocket um, and they are zippered, zippered right there. So you can keep your things stored up and then you get that cool right here, the aesthetic that PECA has on all their stuff, which is really cool. And not too sure if it's just a one-off they sent over to me, but a wonderful Peruvian friendship bracelet. So that was really cool, very thoughtful. Um, price. 165, I believe. Uh, I'll put a link below if you want to pick one up. Comes in three colors, at least right now. Uh, this is the blue, obviously. So, any questions on PACA? Um, my experience over the last year or so using PACA clothing. Uh, if you have experience with alpaca wool, please, please share. Uh, it's not new material at all. <laughs> it's not new. At, it's been there for a long time and people have been using it for a long time. So, uh, share your experience away, please. Let us know how you use it. Um, if you have any more questions though that I can help answer, put those in the comments below. I'll get right back to you. If you want to see more content on alpaca and other cool clothing this winter, consider subscribing to our Engearment YouTube channel. There's a link right there. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Engearment. Until next time, take care.